What's up guys, it's the Fallout X bringing you another Halo Reach commentary. And that's it. Hey, it's not really about the gameplay, it's just about some stuff I wanted to share with you. Um, this gameplay I get a Rampage Perfection, um, not too great, just because uh, there's only two people on the other team and I think we had three. So we had three members and they had two, so not too even. But I figured I'd show you some Halo Anniversary gameplay, just because I wanted to talk about that Halo Anniversary tournament that I went to last Sunday. And uh, just right off the bat, I want to tell you, um, it was really a lot of fun. I mean, the, the tournament wasn't revolved around Halo. Um, so, I mean, some other ca pe casual people joined in. So it wasn't like a hardcore Halo tournament, which I liked, because I'm not really a hardcore Halo player. Uh, if you guys have played with me, you probably know that. Um, but it was just really a lot of fun, because everyone was really nice. Um, one of the guys, I think his gamertag is Frosty. Um... He, he's like one of the top four um, MLG players or something in the world. He got he made the All Star team, the MLG All Star team, um, and he was there. So he was like the only pro that I think was there. Um, but it was funny because I recognized him from a dual Taj that I had seen on YouTube. I don't remember the name. I, I tried to go back later and find it, but I just couldn't. Um, but it was just really funny uh, to see. I'm like, are you a pro? I walked up to him. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I saw you on a dual Taj. It was just nice because he was actually a really nice guy. Like, you know, a lot of people, I mean, I've I've met some, like, pro-ish gamers in real life. And uh, kids who play video games a lot, especially for money, are usually kind of dicks. Uh, so it was just really cool because everyone was so nice. Uh, really, no matter what, I met a kid who played against Status Quo. Uh, a couple times almost beat them, used to be really into Halo, um, not so much anymore, because a lot of people were, most of the kids were just college kids, you know, coming back just to see how Anniversary was, um, and just to play it and uh, see, you know, if they still had what they had. Um, so basically, uh, just to get that this out of the way, I, I didn't win. <laughs> I didn't win this tournament, um, it was a double elimination tournament, the first game that we played it was uh you t picked a team of four um my teammates were two kids that are pr were kind of new to halo they've been playing halo anniversary for a little bit and then my one friend really never plays halo he only plays halo when i come over so i mean we didn't have like a great team to start off with but we definitely weren't that bad um but we the first game we played against the first people we played against were the um the pros so there was like i think I think now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure there was two pros on the team. I don't remember their gamer tags, but they're in a dual Taj, some MLG dual Taj, and like they're f supposedly really good at free for all. And I know that one of them is on the MLG All Star team. Um, so that was our first game. We played against them. It was like the two pros, and like they brought some friends. They had, did a nice little like road trip. And so our first game was against them. Um, so <laughs> obviously we didn't win, um, but we did pretty well. There was a time, it was a, a King of the Hill game, and there was a time there that we were actually winning. I'm like, I turned, looked over at my buddy, and I'm like, dude, we're winning. He's like, yeah, I know. And then we ended up losing. So I mean, it was still, it was a good, it was a fun. We had fun, and everyone again was super nice about it, and it was just chill. Um, and that's what I liked about it. Uh, it wasn't super intense like an MLG tournament. And so then after that, um, we you know waited for a little bit for the other teams to play against each other and then finally we played um against another team and we beat them like it was crazy like my sniper was on like i was getting no scopes and uh i was getting quick scopes and like the people behind me were like oh damn it was it was nice it was a, it was a really fun you know people cheering each other on people watching each other uh it, it was cool and so we beat them and our first game was king of the hill again and then our second game was an oddball game. So basically, we just got stuck playing objective. Because uh, our last game, again, was another oddball game on Beaver Creek. And honestly, Beaver Creek is not a great map for oddball. Like, it, it's just not a good map for oddball. <laughs> because it's just weird, and it's hard to move around. And if someone has the rockets, then, like, you're kind of screwed. Um, so, I mean, we didn't do too well on that either so we ended up losing and me and my friend just walked home and went and played halo for a little bit and 
raged on some bad kids. And so it just talked about he, right here, this gameplay. This kid is, like, obsessed with betraying me. I think, I don't even know. It was this, like, guy, and I don't even know if he was, like, upset or something. Um, but you kept trying to betray me, and it was just really annoying. It's like, dude, just leave me alone. I just want to play. I don't want to deal with little, like, this, this guy was like a 30-year-old guy, and he was just chasing me, like, hee 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 hee, and it was, just, it was just annoying, and I know a lot of people do this, um, they run after you, but Beaver Creek is a great map just to run away from people, and right here, he has no idea where I went, and, uh, you know, he, end, he does end up following me and stuff, but you'll see what happens uh i'll actually i'll just tell you i'll just i'll spoiler alert um my friend stonin's ponich one of my subs you know one of my pals um pretty much almost always uh, comments on my videos um he was in this game with me as well i think this guy like txi or something chipmunk like he's also one of my subscribers and like he was like this guy was chasing me and i think i like juked him enough to where he thought i where he thought stonin's ponich was me, and so he ends up betraying Stoner's Ponage. <laughs> he ends up <laughs> betraying. Oh no, I was playing with Potato Dog. Yeah, see right here, he betrays Stoner's Ponage, uh, thinking he was me, and Stoner boots him. So Stoner, thank you so much for doing that. Um, I didn't really want to have to keep dealing with this guy, so I appreciate you taking taking one for the team. Um, so thanks, dude. Um, but yeah, I mean the Halo. I mean the tournament was awesome. It's in San Diego. It's every year. Um, every around this time, it's really cool. It you know ranges from Halo is just like a small corner of the room. Like for example, like the probably the big thing there was um, jeez, uh, was the Street Fighter in League of Legends. Like le the PC gaming section like had its own like entire like room. Um, uh, the Xbox all all the Xbox and PS3 stuff was all put together in like Wii. They had a huge Super Smash Bros. Brawl tournament and a Melee tournament. So there's like tons of game cubes. And, uh, you know, League of Legends, I guess, is a super big game. I've never played it, but I've seen a video of it. And it looks pretty complicated. So I don't know if I'd be able to play it. But, I mean, it, obviously, it's a pretty intense game because, like, people were bringing in, like, these huge computers. Like, ginormous computers. And I was like, whoa. Like, like two guys were carrying this one, like, computer. is insane. Here's, like, a nice little sniper fail uh, right there. Um, that's definitely something I'm still working on. <laughs> My sniper shot It's pretty bad. So that's something, I, you know, I'm still working on, trying to get that better. Because uh, this Saturday, um, I think I'm going to be going to another tournament, maybe, with my friend again. And uh, I'll see how we do there. It's going to be at, um, I don't know if you guys have these, but Microsoft, they have stores now. They've had them for a while, but... Um, they have tournaments at Microsoft stores, so if you live, um, you know, by a Microsoft store, um, I would definitely like see or go in there and ask them, hey, do you guys do tournaments? Because the one in San Diego does, and so I don't know. I just thought it was pretty cool that they have a, a um, that they do tournaments there as well. They do more than just Halo. Um, uh, so yeah, definitely, if you guys want to get in a tournament, a Microsoft store might be a place to look. Um, but yeah, the the tournament that I did, uh, fam, it was the Halo thing was put on by FanboyGaming.com, and that they only do San Diego tournaments. Um, but uh, I've totally just forgot what I was talking about. But like, I, I, yeah, I might remember. Um, but it, it was just a huge tournament. Um, like, like they had um, on the on this big ass screen, people were playing. Um, uh, what was it? It was a uh, Street Fighter. They're playing Street Fighter. It wasn't crazy. Like it showed like this huge screen. Like part of it showed like what they were looking at, like the two dudes fighting, and then it, part of it showed like their faces, facial expressions. And then I had like two game, two guys underneath, and then they're like commentating it, like doing like a live commentary, kind of like Chris Puckett at like an MLG thing. So I thought, I mean, it was pretty legit. Like it was. I'm sorry. I, I think someone didn't like how I said legit in my video. I kind of winged that. Um, but it was pretty awesome, I guess. Is, that's how I'll, I'll put it. It was definitely really cool. Um, I had a lot of fun. And, you know, hopefully if you guys have, I mean, I'll let you guys know. And right here I portray Potato Dog on accident. But if you guys, you know, definitely want to you know, ever come down to San Diego and do a tournament or you know of a tournament coming in down to San Diego, let me know. And uh, I will definitely uh, maybe try to meet up with you and we can do a nice little Halo tournament. Um, 
down here in San Diego. And uh, someone said I look stoned in my video. I'm just letting you know, I always look stoned. Uh, that's nothing new. I mean, that's just, I don't know why. I mean, I don't do drugs or anything. You know, I try to stay away from that stuff. I mean, I have a tough time in school as it is, so I don't need that, you know. <laughs> need Don't need that extra kick just to throw me off. But, um, I don't know, I think I got like extra red eyes, so my eyes just look like I'm stoned all the time. It's really funny, in my Spanish class, these kids would always like look over at me, and I swear every day they'd ask me, Hey man, are you stoned? I'm like, no, De def definitely not. Alright guys, so that's a nice little perfection, you know, nothing too big. Um, thank you, Stone Opponent and Potato Dog, for playing this game with me. And I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed this commentary. Hope you learned a little thing or two about this tournament that I went to. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this commentary, rate, comment, and subscribe. The Fallout X out. Oh, and check out my man, Amato V2. I'll put his channel link in the description. You should check his channel out. It's pretty awesome. He started doing videos when I first started doing videos, and he was a lot more popular than me. But then he had to give his capture card back, so he stopped. And then I just kind of like got way bigger than him, so now he's back where he was. So definitely check out his channel. He's pretty funny. Like He makes like little funny comments during his videos. So again, I'll put the description uh, or the link to his channel in the description. So again, guys, if you enjoyed the commentary, rate, comment, and subscribe. The Fallout X out.